What is going on YouTube? Stories from the grave. Today, I am at the Puritan Memorial Park Cemetery here in Peabody, Massachusetts. And today, I'm here to visit the grave of one scumbag, filthy, douchebag, murdering rapist extraordinaire. This monster's name is Albert DeSalvo, better known as the Boston Strangler. So, if you were alive in the city of Boston, or at least in the outskirts of the city, then you probably know that between June 14th, 1962, which is the date of his first crime, and about January 4th, 1964 is when he was arrested on unrelated charges. Uh, he committed several rapes and murders here in the Boston area. And after the first two rapes and murders, uh, people began to be very, very frightened. You had a lot of single women getting guns whether they can legally get them or not, they didn't care. Buying tear gas or mace, buying you know heavier locks on their doors. And between those months, those 18 months of his reign of terror that he committed all those crimes here in, in the Boston area, his victims ranged from as young as 19 to as old as 85. The 85-year-old victim being Mary Mullen died not from him raping and killing her she had a heart attack when he grabbed her all of the crimes all of the murders that he committed all had a couple things in common number one there was no evidence of any break-ins in the women's apartments so he was let in whether he lied and said oh i'm a detective oh he, i'm a delivery man oh i'm a maintenance worker he was let in every single time. All of the murders other than Mary Mullins were via strangulation. And all of the murders, he used a, what do you call it, a granny knot on the stockings or the, or the whatever piece of cloth or he used to strangle the women to death. Uh, one of his final rapes, he actually did not kill her. He walked out of her apartment and simply turned around and told her, I'm sorry. So she was able to call the police, give them a detailed sketch of who, you know, what he looked like, what he sounded like, all that stuff. And eventually he was arrested, like I said, on unrelated charges. And he looked just like the, 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 the description that the women, the woman gave the police. And after him quickly confessing to the crime, he confessed the crime to detectives and also to one of his cellmates who went on, went in and told the police what he said. Uh, he was convicted of the murders and sentenced to life in prison. This is his grave right here. Uh, you notice the other names. Those would, I believe, be his... Uh, brother and sister i don't know if they're actually buried with him or not i wouldn't want to be buried with the scumbag and believe it or not people have come here to leave little you know quarters and trinkets i don't know why i mean you know, i guess serial killers are you know they're pretty uh popular so how did albert die well uh, he was found stabbed to death in his prison cell oh, and of course uh, that Crime was never solved, but who cares? He deserved it. He should have been executed for these horrible, atrocious crimes anyways. You had uh, many, many women, 13 women at least. Um, one of them, I believe, uh, has just... Um, it took 50-some-odd a, a years to confirm what you know the police knew all along, is that the Salvo killed her. Yeah, just a sick, 
bastard is all is the only words I have for this guy. Anyways, I'm out of here. We'll catch up with you on the next vlog. Guys, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That'll let you know when me and my friend upload a video. Leave a comment below. Tell us what kind of graves or stories you guys want to hear. Um, if you have any suggestions, let us know. I do quite a bit of traveling. And um, we'd like to get this channel to 100 subscribers. But we can't get there without your help. Anyways, stories from the grave. I'll see you on the next vlog. Be good, guys. Peace.